Well, welcome back to Sports Edge. These guys have a big game coming up. It's the playoffs for Sacred Heart University football head coach Mark Nofrey, star wide receiver Tyler Doobie joining us. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. This is a busy week for you, and you've made time for us. It's your second time back. You're the first one to have two times back, so congratulations on that, too, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about you guys. You got an easy draw in this first round playoff game. Four of them, right? Yeah, four of them, easy draw. <laughs> let's talk about what you're up against. Well, they're pretty good. Obviously, they won 11 games last year, and uh, you know most of the kids last year were juniors, so uh, they're pretty skilled on offense. I know they got a very good quarterback, three wideouts, and a, a tight end, and a, re a running back that's a true freshman. It was pretty impressive. Um, and obviously, you know they're 10 and two this year, so uh, we got our hands full. But again, I feel confident going down there with the group that I got and the kids that we have and their mindset. And I, I know that it's going to be a familiar scene for them because they were there last year, and it's pretty much the same team, and they know what's expected. Yeah, and Tyler and Coach, you both can just, how much does that help going back, like getting that first year of experience under your belt doing it last year? How much does that help you on Saturday? Uh, it definitely helps us because, uh, you know, we know the atmosphere, which, what it's going to be like and everything. So going down there, um, we know what to expect. Uh, kind of we can play a little more freely. Last year we went down, we were a little tight. So, I mean, it helps us now that we can definitely, like, go down there and play like we know how to play and not be tight coming out of the gate. Can, can, I, can I just say... It just makes me feel so old. I remember covering you at Southington <laughs> High School. I remember watching you make tremendous catches for Southington High School. You've got now you've you, you've you've been in college four years, but you have another year of eligibility. Yep. <laughs> we don't want to look ahead because right, it's one game at a time. What are you going to do? There's a, there's an opportunity for you to go to grad school, maybe pick up another year of eligibility. Is that maybe that's in the cards for you? Yeah, it's definitely a great opportunity to be able to have that option. Um, you know, not really thinking about it that much, just going back. Um, going to play this game, play the rest of the year. Nice one-handed catch there, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, just play the rest of the year and, you know, make my decision probably over winter break, and you know, that's when it will happen. You know, you scored 14 touchdowns this year. When you get to the playoffs. That, I think that was the most in the country. Uh, yeah, I yeah he's like, it. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> how, how much harder is it now that you're in the playoffs? Tell me about the Fordham defense coach and what the problems they present for you guys. Uh, you know, they're they're good. They run around, you know, they they they're sound. I mean, uh, they got good players on defense as well. Um, it, it's going to be a battle, you know. Again, our kids are going to be prepared. They're going to be ready to go. They're going to be amped up, and they're going to be excited to go down there. And, and we talked about it today a little bit after practice. All it comes down to is execution, you know. Uh, do the things that, you know, we know how to do. You know, take care of the ball on offense. No big, give up, no big plays on defense. Uh, no stupid penalties. And uh, play hard. And, and what I talked about earlier in the year when we were here in you know, October, yeah. I got a bunch of kids that are grinders. I got kids that play with chips on their shoulder. Um, they know how to win. They find ways to win. I think we were down in the fourth quarter four times this year, and there was no panic. There was no you know, sense of urgency. These kids just went out, did what they had to do. They hang around, and at the end of the game, they find plays, ways to win the game. And one of my playmakers is right here who's, who's done it a bunch for us this year. You, you guys are number 22 in the country right mm -hmm. now, so you, you – like you've been ranked in the in the top 25 three times. They've all been this year. Yep. Listen, you're playing down in the Bronx. It's not far away, so go down and check out some really, yeah. really good football, sacred heart football playing down in the Bronx against Fordham. And I'll just say this, to go back to the playoffs after last year, hey, sacred heart football is for real. It's here now. I hope so. I hope so. I like to think so. And uh, that was the biggest thing we had going this year is that I didn't want people to think last year was a fluke. Terrific. Hey, guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank it was a pleasure much. having Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on News 8 at 11. It starts now.